This is Sid, and you have any idea what he is? It looks like an anteater and a sloth had a baby. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that in a way. This is called a tamandua, or lesser a anteater. Tamandua? Tamandua. 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 There you go. Um, basically, this is an anteater that lives in trees, so he's arboreal. Oh, okay. oh. So this is one of the few mammals on the planet that actually has a prehensile tail, very oh. powerful one at that. They'll wrap it around things. They'll basically use it like an extra hand. Uh huh. Now, do they use it as a weapon too? No. Do you see these claws? Uh huh. Yeah. Now, the, oh, yeah. the interesting thing, he has no teeth. Oh really? But what he lacks in teeth. As a defense, he makes up for with these claws. These yeah. claws, the edges of them are razor sharp. Wow. Now, this is not an aggressive animal. I mean, he's tearing into that. He's yeah. tearing into that. He's also using his 16-inch tongue yeah. to probe 16 down. 16-inch tongue. 16-inch yeah. tongue. He's terrible at eating oranges. <laughs> yeah, well, terrible. he's not designed for it. That <laughs> tongue is very, very sticky, and at 16 inches, he probes it down into logs and uh -huh. termite right. mounds, and the, the, the termites and ants just stick to that tongue, and as he Perfect. brings it back in, Winds up I'm eating good it. with that. Eat yeah. all the bugs you want. <laughs> <laughs> now, do they have, they have an interesting way of protecting themselves, right? They can actually spray, oh. and they're like called a skunk? a skunk. Like a skunk, except their spray is about four times stinkier than a skunk. Oh. Worse? Yeah, it's worse. Is he it's de sprayed? What does it right smell now? Like? He is not. He is never ever sprayed. But once again, the, the the claws are a defense too. They'll stand up, and if there is a threat, they will lash. And I couldn't believe it, but. People in South America, they actually are scared of these animals. Once really? again, not because they're aggressive, because if your dog comes up and messes around with them, they'll stand yeah. up and they can kill a serious? medium sized dog. Yeah, they'll really? take out a medium sized wow. dog. Wow. Like, do they have, like, you know, sloth is slow. They're really fast. Yeah, like they're that? fast. He's great. All right, so once again, prehensile tail animal, but right. I'm, we're going uh -huh. to take Sid away and I'm going to bring out Boomer. Now, okay. Boomer is the oh. largest prehensile tail animal in the world. All I'm going right. to need just a second Bye, here. Bye, Sid. All See right. you later. Good meeting you. And now I put a towel on for Boomer because Boomer also is quite odorous. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Now, once oh. again, largest prehensile oh tail animal in the world. Gosh. Hey, if you guys grab. Oh, oh yep, he's hey, coming buddy. towards us right now. Oh, he's bananas. He's eating all of Sid's leftovers Ooh, at this point. Yeah, now I don't That's want sick. him to climb on you guys. I don't want him to climb on us either. Okay. Because. He does have oh, very wow. sharp claws. Okay. Sometimes he'll scratch. I'm going to just sashay this way. And that's kind of why now, I put the towel on he's not going to spray, does he? No, he okay, doesn't spray, but of course he does have teeth and claws, and he knows how to use them. them? Yeah, sure, Do why not? Like he's, he's that's not convincing. Yeah, oh I mean, he's, he's more interested right now in the food that you have than anything else. Now, and he's not mean, he just, he can get playful. Yeah. Here, marshmallows, Here. look. And look. these guys, like they are omnivorous. That means they'll literally eat anything. And we have 200 animals, as you pointed out. Binarongs, I don't know how they do it, but what? you can feed him one pound of food, he will produce two pounds of waste out of it. Don't know how they do it, but they do it. I don't dip, dip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't just, eat anything, Don't crawl, then. don't crawl. I don't, I don't, I don't oh. want him to climb on you. Not a lot of meat on these bones, oh. pal. There you go, oh, buddy. wow. Oh, my God. Now, that tail, it is so powerful. Sometimes when he's up on my shoulders, he'll like wrap he can... it around my throat, and I, I can't breathe. I can't even talk. <laughs> wow. He's not wow, being yeah. mean. It's just he's anch it's an anchor point yeah. for him. Right. And he's supporting himself. Exactly, exactly. It oh helps him gosh. kind of go through the trees, which he's spending most of his time on. Has so, there ever been a, like, a Disney character based on this animal? No. Um... Oh, yeah, look. He's going he's for your armpits. armpits. Yeah. Oh, he's in your yeah. armpit right now. And see, smelling. It's, it's, yeah, some, <laughs> yeah. some interesting odors going Must on there. That smell like Sid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, other strange things about binarongs the girls, the female binarongs, actually much bigger than the boys. That's uh -huh. extremely unusual with mammal species. And their nickname, by the way, they're called a bear cat. Now he's really got my throat. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they get this nickname because when they walk, it's on the soles of their feet like a bear. He'll stand up, look like a little miniature bear, but he'll get real happy or excited and he'll start purring like a cat. Are you currently bleeding? Uh, not yet. I don't think okay. so. I don't think right. so. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, yeah. really cool. No, I mean I've never seen one. Very curious. And that's the cool thing about them. You know, same thing with the tamandua. These are mammals that, you know, they're good-sized mammals, and most people, the average person's like, I don't know what that thing is. He's going for the ear. He's yeah, he likes ear. ears. Yeah. yeah, he's flirting with you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Except <laughs> then he starts biting them. That's first base. Yeah. <laughs>